I made a lot of mistakes on my journey to seven figures in t-shirt apparel sales. And I continue to make mistakes all the time because I'm human. My hope is that by sharing some of the biggest mistakes I made and see many of my students make at the beginning of their print on demand journey, you can avoid these in your business and accelerate your growth. In this video, I'm going to reveal eight of the biggest print on demand beginner mistakes to avoid and actionable steps that you can take to prevent falling victim to these with your brand. But real quick, if you're interested in learning how to build a profitable business with Shopify and print on demand, check out my free resources below and please help me out by liking this video and smashing that subscribe button if you're getting value out of this content. Let's jump in with mistake number one and that is not taking action. There's a great quote from Pablo Picasso that says action is the foundational key to all success. If you tend to be an overthinker like me, I want to challenge you to break through this self-limiting trait and take messy imperfect action. Start before you're ready. Like right after you watch this video and keep everything simple, especially at the beginning. That means simple niche, simple designs, simple website, and simple marketing like this successful print on demand business called the philosopher's shirt. Mistake number two is not choosing a niche. In case you're unfamiliar with what a niche is, it's just a segment of the population for a specific product or service. For example, if your brand only creates products for pit bull lovers, your niche is pit bull lovers. Unfortunately, one of the most common mistakes that I see new brands make is that they're trying to target everyone or way too broad of a niche. This is a huge mistake and will make it very challenging to be successful. Remember this, if everyone is your customer, no one is your customer. If you wanna capture attention, stand out and make sales, you need to differentiate. And one of the best ways to do this is to choose a niche and only create products for that niche. Remember, the riches are in the niches. Elevated Faith is an example of a very successful niche brand selling premium, trendy, faith-based apparel. This brand was started from a bedroom in the founder's parents' house and now has over 1 million customers. Mistake number three is not conducting effective design research. This, in my opinion, is one of the most critical keys to success for t-shirt and apparel brands, yet one of the most overlooked. This could be the difference maker between a super successful brand and one not making any sales, even while putting in a similar amount of work. I see so many people who are in a profitable niche. They have a professional looking trust worthy website. They're marketing effectively, yet they're making no sales. For those people, design research is probably the missing piece of the puzzle, but many of them don't know this and they aren't aware of the potential that this has to transform their brand. Without effective design research, most people end up guessing what they believe their ideal customer wants, or they just create designs with no prior validation. And in many cases, it results in zero sales of that design. Here's the thing. There should be no guessing. Instead of guessing or trying to come up with completely original designs, research and identify existing winning designs. And just to be clear, it's never okay to steal winning designs, but it is totally okay to reverse engineer winning designs and use them as inspiration to create your own original designs. Success leaves clues. And using winning designs as inspiration for your own original designs will significantly increase the likelihood that your design will be a winner, resulting in more sales for you. I've learned that one effectively researched and validated design can make you way more sales than 100 random designs that no research went into. And that's all you need. One winning design. One design can transform your brand and transform your life. This is why I frequently tell my students you are always just one design away. The goal should be to continuously release new winning designs. There are a number of free and paid ways to conduct effective design research. One of my favorite places to conduct free design research is Etsy. And my favorite paid design research tool is Everbee because it allows me to quickly identify value validated winning designs that I can then use as inspiration when creating my own. Mistake number four is obsessing over your website. When it comes to creating your website, my number one piece of advice is to keep it simple, especially when you're first getting started. Some people spend a day building their website while others spend a year. And while these are both extremes, I commonly see new brand owners spend way too long building their website and launching their brand because they wanna make sure that everything is perfect. Remember this, perfection is the enemy of progress. My strong advice to you is to keep it simple and not overthink it. Remember, you can update your website at any time, so it doesn't need to be perfect to launch. And you definitely don't need a fancy website to make sales. In fact, I see a lot of simple websites making six and seven figures in sales and a lot of very fancy websites making zero sales. It's important to remember that your website doesn't make you sales, it's your products that make you sales. So keep the website simple and make the focus on the products. The platform that I use, love, and recommend for website creation 
nation is Shopify. And contrary to popular belief, building a Shopify website is much simpler than most people think. They have pre-made website templates. There is no coding required. Much of it is just drag and drop or fill in the blank. And even a non-techie like me can build a Shopify website very quickly. Mistake number five is limiting yourself to just one product. While t-shirts are the number one best-selling print-on-demand product, and I do love selling them, I don't recommend limiting yourself to just t-shirts. Instead, consider offering other clothing styles or product types, especially higher price, higher profit products like sweatshirts and hoodies. I usually recommend testing a new design on two to three products to start and expanding that design onto more products for winning designs. Offering your winners in a collection is great for scaling, upselling, and increasing the order value of your customers. As you will learn, most successful brands like this brand, The Parks Project, sell their designs on multiple styles and products. Mistake number six is only using print-on-demand mockups. Although they're starting to improve, most print-on-demand mockups are still not that good. As a marketer and a business owner, it's your job to show your products in their best light. And one of the most effective ways to do that is by using attractive, high-quality mockups on your website and social media to enhance your brand, website, and product aesthetic. So often, I see new brands only using the generic mockups provided by their print-on-demand partner, and this alone could be costing you sales. There are many great places to find high-converting mockups, but two of my favorite places are Placeit.net and Etsy. Placeit has the world's largest mockup library with over 30,000 mockups to choose from across countless product types from t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies to leggings, hats, mugs, tote bags, and much more. Etsy is another place that I love to go since it has countless visually appealing and high-converting mockups. Mistake number seven is building your entire business on a rented platform like Etsy or Amazon. It's important to realize that Shopify is a owned platform since you own your website and your customer data. Marketplaces like Etsy are rented platforms, meaning you're at the mercy of an algorithm, frequent policy changes, and having your account terminated, which is way too common many times for no good reason or without a clear explanation. I love Etsy. I even sell on Etsy. But for these reasons, I have always been Shopify first and would only ever use Etsy as a secondary sales channel for my brand. Etsy alone is just way too risky in my opinion. I don't want to wake up every morning worried that I'm going to receive an email saying that my account has been permanently terminated and my livelihood ruined overnight. This is one of many reasons why I believe that Shopify is the best platform to future-proof your business and build a sustainable long-term brand and why so many household name brands like Gymshark, Allo Yoga, and Fashion Nova are powered by Shopify. Mistake number eight is not following a proven tried and tested strategy. One thing I've learned is that success is a result of strategy, not luck or special ability. I am nothing special. I'm not a guru and I have no special abilities. I just followed a proven tried and tested strategy that I learned, have built on, and have used to sell multiple seven figures across two apparel brands. A common struggle that I see amongst new print-on-demand sellers is that they launch a website and just expect people to find them without any strategy. Or they launch a website, they post their products to social media, and it's crickets. Believe me, I've been there, I know the feeling well, and it sucks. But I want to be real with you. It's not as easy as just choosing a niche, creating a few designs, growing up a website, and just posting your products to social media. That didn't work before, it doesn't work today, and it will not work in the future. If it did work, everybody would be successful. But just throwing up a shop and hoping people will find you is a recipe for failure, because hope is not a strategy. If you're not following a proven strategy, I don't blame you for not seeing success. I tried that, and I was not successful. I wasted a lot of time and money on my first clothing brand, and it made zero sales. It was only when I started following a proven tried and tested strategy that everything changed for me. Really, the strategy comes down to just a few things. A profitable niche, a winning design, a professional, trustworthy looking website, and effective marketing to get your products in front of your ideal customer. If you want to learn the exact strategy that I use to generate millions in t-shirt and apparel sales with Shopify and print on demand, check out my free 90 minute masterclass by clicking the link below this video. I really hope you found this video valuable. And most importantly, I hope it encourages you to take messy, imperfect action because the best way to predict the future is to create it.